Hello dear students, welcome to EPG Partshala. I am Dr. DC Saxena, presently Professor and Head of the Department of Food Engineering and Technology at Sun Longowal Institute of Engineering and Technology, Longowal. I am presenting you the paper Technology of Spices and Condiments and the present module will give you the knowledge about the history of spices and condiments which will be further explained to you by my co-author Ms. Saeed Insha Rafiq. Hello students, welcome to EPG Path Shala. I am Saeed Insha Rafiq, research scholar from Sant Longwal Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today, I am going to talk about module 2 that is history of spices and condiments of paper number 10 that's technology of spices and condiments in this module we will be learning about the history of spices and condiments the knowledge and use of plants as spice and condiments is as old as the history of mankind. The history of spices, condiments and other flowering plants has been considered one of the most romantic chapters in the history of vegetable products. Since ancient times, spices have been eagerly sought and highly valued. With the discovery of new lands and of shorter trade routes and the colonization of areas that grew spices have resulted partly from this interest in aromatic plants. A quest for spices created a floor comparable to the crusades and was one of the dominant factors in European history during the Middle Ages and into the 16th century. However, the use and cultivation of spices can be traced to the beginnings of history. Spices have played an important part in all the ancient civilizations of China and India. In Babylon and Egypt and in Greece and Rome. The spices of greatest international importance originated in the Estric tropics and were among the first objects of commerce between the east and the west history of spices history of spices dates back to as old as human civilization wherein different nations were discovered and was were fought to conquer the spice treasured nations the empires were built up and brought down. The spices were having therapeutic properties and were used for curing various ailments. During the times, treaties were signed and flowed, and there was also the rise and fall of different religious practices and beliefs. History of spices dates back to ancient and medieval times when the spices were the most valuable items of trade. The use of spices spread through Middle East to the Eastern Mediterranean and Europe. Spices from China, Indonesia, India were originally transported 
overland by donkey or camel caravans. For almost 5,000 years, Arab middlemen controlled the spice trade until European explorers discovered a sea route to India and other spice producing countries in the east. Columbus, Vasco de Gama and Sir Francis Take all undertook epic and crown breaking journeys in search of spices. Christopher Columbus arrived in America while searching for a direct western route to the Spice Islands. Thus, continents were discovered like North and South America. Spices have been the catalysts of some of the greatest adventures in human history. From Christopher Columbus to Vasco de Gama, as well as being the driving force for the British East India Company and the British Empire whose merchants turned London into the greatest spice market in the world for 200 years. Columbus brought all spice, vanilla and red peppers from the West Indies back to his Spanish spotters. Americans began their entry into the world spice race in 1672. Origin of spices. During Roman times, spices were available only to the upper class who valued them as high as gold. Pepper, cinnamon, cloves and nutmeg were hot commodity five centuries ago as they attract nations to sail across for their search. In 16th century, clothes for instance were among the spices used to preserve food without refrigeration. It's still used to preserve food like Virginia ham. Likewise, later mustard and ground mustard were also found to have preservative qualities. Uses of spices. Spices were used from ancient times as a luxury for medieval kings instead of gold. It was used as a medicine for the treatment of various disease and ailments and aperiodis. In addition to this, they were also used in various religious rituals to dispel demons and summon gods and also as perfumery for mummies and as a last word in hot cuisine. Primitive beginnings. As the early civilization wrapped meat in the leaves of bushes and they accidentally discovering that this enhanced the taste of the meat as did certain nuts, seeds, berries and even bark. It is claimed that the lavish use of spices in ancient times was a way to mask the often unpleasant taste and odor of food. 
and later to keep food fresh. However, the spices were too costly during the times even more than the cost of gold. In 1000 BC, the Queen of Sheba visited King Suleiman in Jerusalem to offer him 120 measures of gold, many spices and precious stones. A handful of cardamom was worth as much as a poor man's yearly wage, and many slaves were brought and sold for a few cups of peppercorns. The Roman Empire The Roman Empire has conquered boundaries from one side of the Mediterranean to the other for the sort of spices. They had extended and discovered kingdoms for the search of spices to be taken o'er. In the biblical story of the Magi, three kings from the exotic reeds of the Orient give gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh to the newborn Jesus Christ. Frankincense and myrrh were rare, very expensive spices of the time. The Arabs were the first spice traders bringing their products from southern India and the Spice Islands by caravan to Arabia and from there to Europe. This trade later spread to other countries as well. For many years, Venice, Italy led the trade. In the 16th century, the Portuguese assumed control and held a monopoly for 200 years. The Dutch followed and later the British Empire shared with Holland most of the world's spice trade. They were the basis of many great fortunes during 1300 to 1780. The medicinal value of spices is not a great as was believed during the Middle Ages, but a large number of them are still official drugs in both Europe and America. Most spices are still obtained from the tropics, predominantly Asia. Africa supplies the greens of paradise, while tropical America furnishes vanilla, red pepper, and allspice. A small number are found in the cooler temperate regions of the old world. Since Ancient times, people have used condiments to enhance their food. Spices in the Middle Ages Arab traders were the first to introduce spices into Europe. In early Middle Ages, Arabs and other Muslims predominate as spice traders. Portugal was the leading power of Europe as Portuguese wanted and were first to gain a spice trade monopoly. It was soon England's and Holland's turn to dominate the spice land in East. Sir Francis Drake turned from a voyage to the East Indies with six tons of cloves making both English merchants and Queen Elizabeth I happy indeed. The spices lastly reached Britain via Arabian and the Red Sea from Egypt and the ports of Venice and Geneva. During the 20th century, the original spice islands became remote isolated and provincial 
Tourists have enjoyed making voyages there. Saffron has become the dearest and costly spice. Merchants went to great lengths to discover the origins of spices. It was widely accepted they came from lands beyond the known world. Explorers like Magellan, Vasco da Gama, and Columbus had explored nations in search of spices. Magellan discovered spice islands while Vasco da Gama discovered India in his quest for spices. However, Columbus sought a shorter route to India for gold and pepper but found the America condiments. Since ancient times, people have used condiments to enhance their food. The first condiment was salt. Salt has been used since ancient times both as a preservative and to enhance the flavor of food. Vinegar has also been used since ancient times. Its name is probably derived from the French words vin agar, meaning sour wine. Vinegar was used as a medicine as well as a food, but throughout the centuries, other sauce and spices became popular as a result of trade empire expansion. The Romans, for example, brought mustard to the European areas they conquered. Certain condiments became more prevalent in the 1800s due to industrial growth consumers could purchase mass produced ketchup horseradish and worcester sauce history of condiments the romans liked condiments and they made many sauces for their food one of the most common was a fish sauce called lycaemon. The Romans also grew mustard and they introduced it into the parts of Europe they conquered. They also made mint sauce. In the Middle Ages, mustard was a popular condiment in Europe. In the 16th, 17th and 18th centuries, new condiments were invented. Pesto sauce was invented in 16th century in Italy. Furthermore, new sauces were invented in the 17th century including bechamel and cashew. Chutney comes from India. It was first exported to England in the 17th century. Soya sauce, which was invented in China, reached Europe in the 17th century, and by the mid 18th century, it was popular in Britain. According to one story, a French chef first made mayonnaise in 1756. Hollandaise sauce was also first recorded in the mid-18th century. Ketchup began life as a Chinese fish sauce called ketchup. The name was gradually changed to ketchup. In the 19th century, with the Industrial Revolution, condiments began to be mass-produced in factories. History of Indian Spices History of Indian Spices is much older than recorded history. The origin of Indian spice trade dates back to 7000 years ago and Indian trade became very popular across the globe. Columbus was on the way to find shorter route to India 
to facilitate trade but led to the discovery of America. Centuries before the prices of spices was very high and Rome and Greece had been existing exploited spice loaded ships to India, Egypt and Arabia. During these times, the prices of the spices was very high and hence provide high profit. It's believed that the Romans were spending money on merchandise and also wars were fought by Romans to keep trading routes to India open. Arabians conquered India in 1000 BC and brought cumin and coriander with them. These spices were mixed with pepper, ginger and turmeric and the mixture known as garam masala was then spread by the British to the whole world. In fact, some of the Indian spices are from Far East. Garam masala. Garam means hot for spice intensity and masala means spice blend. It is a northern Indian masala that is pungent, not very hot. Ingredients include coriander, cumin, cardamom, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, bay leaf and peppercorns. Five spice masala known as Panch Foran. It's a spice blend from East India, Bengal, Bihar and Orissa and ingredients include whole seeds of cumin, fenugreek, nigila sativa, mustard and fennel. Culinary use are with vegetables, lentils and fish. Frying the mix in oil causes it to start popping or tempering. At this point, other ingredients are added to coat with the spices. History of Spice Roots The spice root is the name given to the network of sea roots that link the east with the west. They stretch from the west coast of Japan through the islands of Indonesia, around India, to the lands of the Middle East, and from there across the Mediterranean to Europe, is a distance of over 15,000 kilometers, and even today is no easy journey. From our very earliest history, people have traveled the spiced route. At first, they probably only ventured short distance from their home ports, but over the centuries, their ships sailed further and further across the ocean. They braved treacherous seas and a possibly hostile reception on arrival in an unknown land. These journeys were not undertaken purely in the spirit of adventure. The driving force behind them was straight. The spice routes were and still are first and foremost trade routes. How did spice routes develop? Trade is a central part of our lives. When we buy something, we are trading, exchanging one item, usually money, for another. However, our purchase is the final link in a long chain of buyers and sellers. From the supplier of raw materials to the manufacturer to the wholesaler to the shop. And if the goods we buy come from abroad, there may well be several stages in between. The journey of the goods between all these links in the chain is called as trade route. In fact, 
the word trade derives from the term meaning a track or a course. Presently, in some geographical areas and countries, the cultivation of specific spices is conducted. For instance, black pepper, cinnamon, nutmeg and cloves are cultivated in tropical climates, while other spices are generally cultivated in temperate climates. Within the Caribbean, Grenada is famous for nutmeg, being the world's second largest producer. In the 19th century, with the Industrial Revolution, condiments began to be mass produced in factories. Tomato ketchup was a best seller and HB sauce was invented at the end of the 19th century. Meanwhile, Worcester sauce was invented in Worcester in 1835 by John Lay and William Perrins. Horseradish sauce went on sale in bottles in the USA around 1860. Salad cream was invented in 1914. Spread of demand. How people came to know and value these spices which grew so far away is an impossible question to answer exactly. As trading links from Indonesia fanned out through South and Central Asia. So they met with links that spread from the Middle East and the North. Goods were exchanged and the traders would return their homeland carrying the beautifully scented exotic species. Perhaps it was their strangeness and rarity that led great medicinal and spiritual values to be attributed to them. Increasing uses of spices. From the dawn of civilization, spices were burned as incense in religious ceremonies, purifying the air and carrying the prayers of people heavenward to their gods. They were also added to healing ointments and drunk as antidotes to poisons. To hide the many household smells, people burn spices daily in their homes. They were used as cooking ingredients very early on, not only to add flair, but also to make the food which often far from fresh, palatable, particularly in hot climates. So students, let's now summarize what we have learned in this module. In this module, we have learned about the history of spices and condiments. Spices had been used for thousands of years throughout Asia, Arabia and the Mediterranean region. Once valued as high as gold, they were much sought after in the West and the quest for spices, influenced the course of history dramatically. Although spices have been used since ancient times, they are playing a new and important role in modern food preparation. Some spices such as allspice and chilies are native to parts of the Caribbean and Central America. While many of the world's spices originated in tropical areas, over time Spices that originated in Asia 
were cultivated in Africa and the Caribbean. Spices were also brought from Central America and cultivated in Asia and Africa. Presently, some countries specialize in the cultivation of specific spices. That's all about the history of spices and condiments. Thank you. So, by now, you must be having knowledge about the history of spices and condiments, which has been well explained in the present module. Now, in the next module, you will be giving information about the present status of Indian spices industry. Thank you.